Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Hamid, and I'm a consultant pediatrician at Apollo Clinic Sulsha. Today, I will talk to you about an important problem which many parents and caregivers encounter, and that is the gas problems in babies. As pediatricians, we tend to call them by a fancy term, and we use the word functional gastrointestinal disorders. Management of these problems may sometimes be daunting in first-time parents, but trust me, there are a lot of ways in which uh, these problems can be avoided, and these can be relieved as well. Uh, we will be talking about two problems in general. Uh, the first one would be infantile colic. The next would be infantile regurgitation. Now, what is infantile colic? Infantile colic is a situation when your baby is crying excessively, the baby is not sleeping, the baby is not feeding well, and the baby tends to be fussy. Fussy is a state when your baby is not sleeping, the baby is not crying also, the baby is not even active alert. The baby has something wrong with him. You can uh, uh, assume that there is something wrong with the baby which will be evident by the baby's movements and the actions, okay? So the baby will give you cues that the baby is not doing absolutely well. This is when he is fussy. So the classical symptom of infantile colic is fussiness. Number two, we'll talk about uh, infant regurgitation. What is this infant regurgitation? This is when babies tend to bring up a portion of the feed they have taken a few minutes before. A portion of this is brought up. Now this is a cardiac discharge from the angles of the mouth and this is what is infant regurgitation. So excessive bloating in babies uh, is also a part of the symptom complex of uh, infant colic. So how do you manage these kids? The most important part of managing babies with infantile colic are your burping after feeds. Okay, so burping is when you, after feeding, you tend to support the baby against your shoulder and gently tap on the baby's back using a cupped hand. And uh, you do it for a good five to 10 minutes till the baby burps it out. There are other positions when you can burp your baby, you can make the baby sit up using your one hand and gently tap on the baby's back. Also, you can make the baby lie down on the bed, turn the face to one side and again tap on the baby's back. This is classically what pediatricians like to call as a tummy time. So I recommend tummy time for at least 30 to 45 minutes in even newborn babies. Make sure you are present with your baby when you do that. So this will reduce infantile colic to a great degree. Now, infantile regurgitation, this is best managed by decreasing the volume of feeds which you are giving your baby. Suppose you are feeding your baby for around 15 to 20 minutes. Try decreasing the volume of the feed to around 5 to 7 minutes. Burp your baby and then give him a more frequent meal. When you uh, travel with such a baby, it may be a daunting task in itself. So make sure you are uh, carrying extra sets of diapers and wipes for your baby. You may try swaddling the baby and also use pacifiers at times. And when the, all these methods fail, you may need to uh, visit your pediatrician and reach out to him for these problems. He may prescribe simethicone with the dill and fennel oil drops. Uh, I hope this clears a lot of doubts. And until next time, thank you so much.